What up? It's Trisha with I Sell Baby Alive. That's the name of my channel, even though I've said it a thousand times. I still sell Baby Alive dolls. You can find some in my eBay toy store. Not as many as when I first started out because I that was all I sold at first. Anyway, skip that. Y'all already know it. Two videos ago, I showed you this little doll head um, that I just said, wow, she is begging to be made into a creepy doll. And I decided not to make this a candle, not to make it a planter. It is just for display. How cute would this be sitting on your mantle for Halloween? Or you might love her and just want to display her every day of the week. I have a lot of people that just adore, love, 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 weird, strange, um, out of the norm things. And so somebody will be delighted to get her. Didn't she turn out cute? Oh, I love her. So um, I'm also gonna show you guys a little snippet now of a video that I made yesterday at the outlet. You're really not supposed to film at the outlet. They don't like it and it's because of people's privacy and their own privacy and their rules sometimes appear to be maybe harsh. Like you have to stand behind this yellow line and wait till the bins that they're bringing out are in place. And if anybody starts to try to look at stuff, they'll yell at you. Um, or if people, you know, get squabbling over something, like they may come and take that item from both of them and ask them to go have a time out outside or whatever. Um, I, I go to the Nashville uh, bins and um, it's really neat because a lot of people there, every time you go, you'll see some of the same people a lot of the same people and you become dear friends with a lot of them. And <clears throat> one of the persons that I felt most in competition with when I first started going to the outlet was this older woman. She's older than me, but she runs circles around me. Um, her name is Nelda. I know she wouldn't mind me talking about her. <laughs> She's um, amazing. And she used to always go for all the same things that I was going for. And I, my mom was alive at the time when I first started going there. And I would call my mom and say, this woman drives me crazy. She gets everything I want. And my mom was like, that's who you need to be best friends with. You need to pick her brain. You need to ask her about dolls. You need to ask her if she will sell you any dolls or if she would pick up any dolls for you. And it just turned out to be one of the most beautiful relationships that I've ever had. I love this woman. Um, before coronavirus, she literally was shopping for me because before coronavirus, I was bartending, I was acting in a dinner theater, and I was doing eBay. But because of coronavirus, um, Nelda couldn't go to the outlet to shop for me anymore. And I couldn't bartend and I couldn't do dinner theater. So it squeezed me into doing this full time, like I've always wanted to do, but just didn't quite have enough sales money or enough time. And um, so in that aspect, it has been a good thing for me. And now, um, so I just, nailed has gotten her vaccinations and she just recently came back to the outlet and we um it took an adorable picture yesterday so i will first show you um, a little tiny snippet of a video that i made at the outlet showing you what i didn't bring home two things i picked up and were just like oh this is so cool one i didn't know what it was worth the other i knew it wasn't worth anything and i just didn't need it and then i'll show you quickly a picture of nelda okay so i'll be right back love you chewy but you're worth $4.99. You gotta stay. Bye bye, bye bye. Debated on this little doll. Decided against it. Peekaboo. All right, um, so isn't Nelda just the cutest? You guys, she is. <laughs> I want to say she's 92 years old and she just is amazing. Okay, so yesterday I love to pick up Fisher Price Little People stuff. 
I don't normally pick up the vehicles, but every part of this circus train was in the bins. So I picked all of it up and also uh, the little food hut to go with it. So I already have some of the animals. I was tickled to find that. Build a bear, woo, woo, woo. Um, any day of the week, if your kid wants to build a bear, just please find a Goodwill outlet bins because I probably could, mercy. What is that? What's in his hair? It's stiff. Oh, he has, Oh, how cute. <laughs> I, didn't, I did not know that, that this puppy had wire in his ears. How funny and how cute is that? Some of them have uh, voice um, boxes where you can squeeze them and like they'll bark or moo or whatever. But, um, so going back to, you know, if it's a dollar, nine, a pound, then this puppy costs you less than a dollar um, or whatever Build-A-Bear you want. You can probably find, but I, I really don't pick them all up because they take up so much space in my office. But this particular one just smelled perfectly clean, does not even need to be washed. And one thing I love about Build-A-Bears is, man, I will throw them in the washing machine. No special gentle or cycle or anything. Just make sure that there are no holes in your plush toys when you throw them in the washing machine. Some plush washes beautifully. Build-A-Bears wash beautifully. Some, the older ones, are the ones that have the fuzzy hair. Be very careful. I would wash those by hand. But man, a Build-A-Bear, you can throw right in the wash. I love this puppy. And um, probably won't sell for that much. Uh, maybe if I put two cute outfits within 20 bucks. That's okay. I was so tickled to find this dress because I have one of the life-size Barbies that it's going to go on. I adored this cute little bat and it is, it's got the tag on it. I have no idea if it's worth a penny or what it's worth, but I'm going to probably put it with a creepy doll. And speaking of creepy dolls, I don't exactly know what this is. I think it said World Toy Core. Um, CVS toys, CVS toys. I really don't know what that is, but I will look her up. I, for me, here is my, um, I've sold so many dolls, so many dolls. And 90% of the time I go by this rule. If I love it, somebody else wants it. I don't, does not cover her ears. I don't love this doll. But if I look it up and see that people, you know, pay good money for her, she has a voice box, but it doesn't. Those little crier boxes in these old dolls sometimes work, most of the time don't. But anyway, if she um, is not a doll that people collect or want or look for, then she is just crying out to be made into a creepy doll. Some people will be very offended and upset and worried about that. Move on by. <laughs> Go away. Um, oh, a preemie outfit. So cute. It's so new. It's so perfect. It almost makes me want to just sell it for what it is, but I'll probably put it on a doll. This is just a cute little, um, I, any, any cute little thing like this that I can put little dolls in. I mean, I'll look it up. I think this is a moose toy. Um, nope, this is a Mattel. So it probably goes with like a little Mattel fairy doll or something. I'll figure that out. This sweet doll is really dirty. Um, she does, she, she's in decent condition, but you can see like the, the spots and stuff. This is a Lee Middleton and it is just, um, boom. It will sell first time if I put it on auction, it'll get bids and it'll sell. I'm gonna guesstimate around 30 bucks. Um, I will put this doll in the washing machine. She has the kind of stuffing that dries really fast and her hair is short enough that I won't need to tie it off in a baggie. If a doll needs to be washed and it has a body composition that will go in the washing machine, I will put a baggie on its head and tape it. Um, that way its hair will survive. Um, little tykes, vintage dinosaur, and that's where the person goes. I have never seen this toy and I'm super excited to get it. 
Here's a baby alive doll. Isn't she so cute? I want to say this is Snacking Lily. Um, Snacking Sarah has batteries and makes eating sound uh, noises and whatnot. But but these little dolls, you just unscrew the back and um, clean out the food, which is actually just kind of a Play-Doh type thing. Um, but I just love this doll and she is a little bit older. I don't have my glasses or I will tell you exactly what year. Ah, this is so cute. Look at this. Look at this little girl's costume. <laughs> What's on it? Oh, that's a Barbie dress on it. Okay, look at the little, this is the top. And then it has these adorable little dragon wings and it even has, um, I've got the tail. The tail just snaps on, but how cute is that? And it just, I mean, somebody bought this and wore it one time because it is perfectly clean, nice and fluffy. Absolutely just, let's see what it looks like on the head. <laughs> so, wish it fit me. So cute. Okay, that's enough, Trisha. Oh, here's the tail. Look at the tail. It just has boop, little Velcro. Okay, let me, let me get fixed here. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Barbie stuff. Doc Stuffins, I have got her doctor shirt, and now I have the Lammy, the little hippo, and all the doctor supplies, so I'll put it together in one set. Yes! I love when I wait and hold out for like the thing that's gonna come to the set. Um, I am obsessed with Lilith's Pet Shop, but I hate to pick up the big play sets because I can't stand to, um, it just irritates me to mail big items. It's so expensive. Just shipping is ridiculous. And just finding the big boxes are, um, that's annoying as well. So this one will fit in a 12 by 12 by eight box. And so you can lay it flat in the box and then just fill the little animals and the little accessories. And those are just something that I gather, I gather, I gather, I gather. I'm not into little pet shop enough to know like which ones are valuable and which ones are not. So it's super fun for me when a listing like blows up and people start bidding and I'm just like, I wonder what it is in this listing that they're just going after. Oh my gosh, I thought this was so cute. Look at this little birdhouse that goes with Fisher Price Little People. Boop. <laughs> so cute. So I guess this snaps onto probably the um, playhouse. Uh, and somebody needs it. Somebody has lost their bird. So I got a ton of Barbie clothes. I got so lucky. Look at this. All of this is Barbie clothes. Um, this is a beautiful 18 inch doll dress. I thought for a minute it might be American Girl, but it's not, it's an off brand, but very, very well made. This was exciting to find. This is the Fisher Price Little People original, like when they made the little ones that you could swallow and get choked on. So again, I have a box where I'm just, every time I find one, throw it in there, throw it in there. I have a lot of people a few little accessories, but the bus will just put it all together for me. That made me happy. I pick up Disney PVC cake topper characters. Look at this little uh, pony. I told you I pick up little ponies. This one says um, Toy Smith, made in China. So it really, man, it just looks just like a My Little Pony. Um, so I will put it with the My Little Ponies and just be sure and disclose what it says on there. It doesn't say Hasbro, so I have to be sure and let people know. I pick up dinosaurs. I pick up Disney mini princesses. I pick up wrestlers when I see them. I don't know who this guy is, but it looks like Chuck Norris to me, but I don't think Chuck Norris wrestled in paintings. <laughs> Another My Little Pony, that's a newer one. Another Disney character. Um, this doll's, uh, hands had been chewed off, so I didn't want the, sorry, video got cut off. Anyway, this doll's hands had been chewed off, and, um, it's trash, you know? Who wants a doll with chewed off hands? But I 
take their heads. If I see a doll that's ruined, I'll take the head because I can make um, a Day of the Dead or a creepy doll ornament with that. And it's perfect for that. Uh, yes, I, I love it. I'm excited. Okay. I picked up cute little stuffed animals. This little name tag needs to be sewn back in place. I'll do that for Barbie clothes. What else do I have to show you that's of interest? Let me see here. Um, ooh, this is a super cute doll. Look at this doll. her hair. I've got several of these. These are, I think these are the, um, if, I know this is not Ever After. This is Disney, mm, I forget. You guys know. This is, this, these are, oh, I was so excited to find this. I have the Fisher Price, um, Little People Camper, and this is the little, recreational chair that goes with it <clears throat> made me so happy okay i also yesterday picked up um oh fabulous uh the my loving mattel i think my loving family furniture this stuff sells it's great um yesterday here's another i love this i love these little tiny my baby alive dolls I like to get the little tiny ones to maybe put two or two or three dolls together um, and then just stick in a little one to surprise people. That just makes me so happy. Look at this, another costume that's just in absolutely perfect shape. So cute. Little Disney princess dress in just excellent condition. And then yesterday I did something that I, um, I, I can't say I've never done it, but <laughs> not to this extent. Look at this. These are all, except with the exception of this one that I'm going to keep myself, learn to draw, which you guys already know I'm an artist. Um, but I really loved the chapter in here about flowers, um, how to draw flowers. Flowers can be tricky. And then there was another... Um, but brand new book, like it just looks like it hasn't even been used. And so I might keep it and use it and then I might gift it to somebody and they won't know. What else? Oh, I got this too. This is a, um, a doll book. And I have been doing this weird project where I'm decoupaging um, paper onto a doll. I don't really know how to describe it to you, but some of all of these images of dolls in this magazine, I'm just like, oh, these are gonna be fabulous for my project that I'm using. Just like, oh, I can't stand it. Y'all don't wanna sit here and watch me look at a book, but just awesome images like that, that I'm gonna just cut, cut out like, little faces and, and eye um, and uh, features. It's kind of like Picasso, but just decoupaging it onto an existing doll that would have been trash and I recycle and make something new out of it. But guess what this, all of these are? So cool, I live in Tennessee and so we have all of these Dolly Parton Imagination Station Library books in our book bins. And I was just like, man, I don't, I just, I can't believe that these books are just gonna, you know, go to, go to trash because people had already looked and looked and looked through the bins and taken out what was valuable. This one does not even have the plastic off of it like it's never even been opened these books look brand new honestly so um i am certainly gonna sell them and i am a-okay if they sell for 99 cents a piece but i'll probably put big groupings of them together and i also i can't help it i'm like maybe i'll curl up on the couch with a quilt and i'll just make yet another youtube channel because <laughs> i have like three now um, and just read children's books. I'll read them to Beaver. Where, where is my dog? I think Beaver has become camera shy and he's hiding. 
So we'll do a real quick segment with Beaver. Listen, I hope you sub <laughs> I hope you subscribe. So just hit the subscribe button below. Also, click the description and look at my eBay um, toy store. And I haven't been putting the link to my Etsy store, but more of my art um, and some of my paintings is in my Etsy store. <clears throat> so I will provide a link to that as well. I hope you have the best week ever. And thank you for watching my fun little videos. And I look forward to making the next one. Have a great uh, rest of your week. You guys <laughs> I ended the video because I thought that I'd showed you enough stuff but I still had this little bag of things to go through and in it this awesome um, vintage Chrissy doll that's definitely exciting to me because I have her original dress I will wash her hair and smooth it down yada yada but this is what I wanted to show you Ooh, my, there's dirt in my fingernail that's gross ignore the dirt in my fingernails because I was at the outlet yesterday and people tell you to wear gloves. I'm sorry. I pick up so many tiny things that it's very difficult for me to do that. But I advise it. Okay, I found this box and I opened it and I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> and it's fortunes. It's just a box full of fortunes. Um, be prepared to receive something special. you will run into an old friend soon <laughs> so you get the idea but um one more a smooth new a smooth sea never made a skill for <laughs> a smooth sea never made a skillful mariner now why did i pick this up why did i buy this and I can honestly tell you, I don't know, but it called to me. It just to, to imagine that someone had saved this many fortunes. Did they work at an Asian restaurant? Did they eat this much Chinese food? <laughs> like, wh wh who did this? Why did they do this? They're all different. And they put it in this adorable box and I just couldn't bear to see it go to the trash. So I'm not sure, I may list it just as is and see what happens. I may keep it. I I may use these in decoupage. <laughs> I don't know, but I couldn't resist. Okay, just had to share that as well. Beaver, tell everybody have a good week. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye from Beaver. We'll talk to y'all next time. Say woof!